Welcome to online training for providers using Sunrise Clinical Manager. This short video covers the inpatient discharge workflow. The Discharge tab consolidates all aspects of the discharge process. It populates and opens the discharge summary note for editing and attestation and opens the discharge patient order. Acronym Expansion and Smart Paste, F6, work in any free text box. You can control C the highlighted text, but you must right click and paste the data into the box on the tab. In the admit order, there is a field labeled anticipated discharge date. This populates on the first page of the discharge tab, which is viewable by everyone on the care team. You can update the expected discharge date by clicking on the change button. The table of contents is located on the left hand side of your screen. Selecting an item will navigate you to that section. The flow is designed to work straight down the table of contents. Many fields pull information from the patient's chart. Others are manually updated. At the bottom of each section are buttons for the previous and next sections, as well as one labeled Mark Complete. Selecting Mark Complete will trigger a green check mark to appear by that section and automatically jump you to the next section. The button will change to say Mark Incomplete. If you need to make changes, return to that section, click Mark Incomplete, update the information, and then mark the section as complete again. Diagnoses will populate from the problem list. You can enter new or remove current problems here. Hospital course and surgeries and procedures are pulled from the Snapshot tab. Discharge Order Reconciliation is initiated via the button in the Discharge tab. The medication list will update in the tab. Home medications that were continued during the patient's stay are grouped together. Click the button to continue them after discharge. Inpatient meds may be continued at home through the prescription writer. Set the dosing and administration details. Add instructions to the label and save. The new med shows in the home medication section and on the discharge tab. Then DC all remaining orders. Save is complete when done. This will open the prescription writer. The submit method defaults to e-prescribe, but can be changed to print if necessary. The patient's preferred pharmacy will be displayed, but can be changed with the drop-down. Prescription Writer is connected to SureScripts, and any pharmacy in the United States can be selected. Double-click the pharmacy to add it to the patient's preferred list and select it for this order. Then click Close. Select your location from the drop-down list. Select the provider and click OK. Enter your password to complete the process. Order reconciliation is complete. Click to add common instructions to the note and you may enter additional instructions in the box. Mark the section as complete and move on to the next. The discharge disposition is selected from a drop-down. With qualifier options. Indicating if there are results pending is required. Specify what has not yet been resulted. Mark the section as complete and move on to the next. Selecting some activity restrictions will open areas for additional documentation. Scroll down for more categories. Mark this section as complete and move on to the next. Enter the physician to follow up with or tests to be done, as well as additional information here. When done, mark the section as complete. The Appointment Scheduler section is for others to complete. The Service Specific section is next. Information and instructions for specific services is documented here. Skip this section if nothing here is needed for this patient. Clicking the Discharge Patient button opens the Discharge Summary Note. Required fields are indicated in the Sections tab. Use the Table of Contents to find and fill in missing information. Save as Final when done. The discharge patient order opens automatically. Ordering service is required. Fill in the attending's name and pager if necessary. There are two sections, 
Use the bottom section to indicate any tests or procedures required before discharge. Note that orders cannot be entered from this screen. Enter them as usual. Selecting either something in this section or nothing further required is mandatory. This completes your part in the discharge process. A unit clerk or RN will enter the final discharge order after the patient has left the floor. The patient's chart for this visit will remain on your personal lists until you remove it. This training has been brought to you by UK Healthcare IT Education. Thanks for watching. Our service desk is open 24 7. Call 323 8586 anytime.